Got a package full of wishes To be understood, integrated, loved and not alone No labels, no presumptions Support and reassurance Respect for one and all Fear on the minds I see Ignorance encloses me Shun just being me Lighting up the darkness Let's build a world for us all We can do anything With the candles we light Start miraculous things People, they are hurting Let's reach for stars Invisible, hidden deep, or those we just ignore. But let's focus on the person. The more we have in common, no divisions anymore. Starts with you, takes one you'll see. Impact your community. Come with me, take my hand, lighten up. stars now let's build a world for us all we can do anything with the candles we light start miraculous things we can work together let's reach for stars now I'm Sherry Manning, the Executive Director of the Nevada Governor's Council on Developmental Disabilities, and I may refer to that during this informational video as the Council, DD Council, or NGCDD. This informational video is to give you information about our upcoming quarterly meeting. This meeting will be held December 1st, 2016 at 9 a.m. It will be a video conference meeting and it will be held at two locations, the Vocational Rehabilitation Building in Reno, Nevada, and that's at 
525 Corporate Boulevard. The other location will be in Las Vegas and that is at 3016 West Charleston Boulevard, Suite 200. So let's dive into our agenda items for this meeting. So item number one on the agenda is call to order. Then we will be verifying the quorum. Review of the public comment policy. Call for introductions and verify timely posting of agenda. So let me explain those items to you. First of all, Jody Thornley, the council chair, will call the meeting to order. And when she calls the meeting to order, that time will be noted for the minutes. Then we will verify quorum. You will see in front of you a list of all of the council members. There are currently 20 council members, and the list you see in front of you notes the person's name, who they are representing, and which area of the state, the community that they are representing. In order to conduct a meeting, we must have over 50% of those members present. Intellectual disability is a disease. I just don't know how to respond to these because they're so stupid. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. How? I don't know. It's... An intellectual disability is a disease. You know, I would hope I would never come into contact with somebody like that who right. thinks that. I don't know. I feel like I don't even want to waste my energy addressing that. I hear you. It's so <laughs> inane. Exactly. But... I hear you. Can you have sex? <laughs> well, um, yes I can. Um, but I'd rather not because I don't want to have kids. Those with intellectual disabilities can't live independently. No, they can. You know, I, I have my own place. I've been living it almost three years. Uh, I do my own grocery shopping. Uh, I do my own everyday 
chores by myself. Um, people with any disability can be independent, although they, they need help once in a while, but not all the time. I say that people should live on their own, like I am one now, because I have two roommates are at the house, which I, I did. I did my own groceries, make my own grocery list. Sometimes I don't need any help, but not with a parent, just myself. Parent, your parents are not going to or guardian or people around you are not going to be around you as long as they are, they're around. I mean, they one day will be gone and you need to rely on yourself and one, maybe one other family member, but all, overall, your parents are not going to be here as long as we are. I'm just tired of the lack of understanding and even when people do try to understand, they still can't understand unless they, they've lived it themselves. So I guess that's frustrating, knowing that no one will ever know what I go through personally, ever. You know, I won't know what you go through, ever. We only know what we right. go through. And that's maybe the most frustrating part is that lack of connection and being able to relate to somebody because no one will ever know what we go through, ever. And that's kind of disheartening, but it's also at the same time a, a challenge to be looked upon and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this anyway, even though, yeah, no one will ever know what I go through. You know, I'm going to speak out anyway because, it, you know, the only failure is in not trying. for a living and becoming a, a video game, not only developer, but um, um, becoming um, a, a video game whiz, kind of like that, to at least not just develop games, but to allow other people and combine together so I could create a good business off of that. There have been times where you know, I, I would have been interested in, you know, what it would feel like having legs. But then as the years go by, you know, I realize that I'm able to do as just as anyone else. You know, just because I don't have legs, it doesn't stop me from trying my hardest and trying my best or trying to accomplish a goal that I've set for myself, you know, with driving, getting my license, going out there and doing stuff. You know, it's not going to stop me. If I want to do it, I will do it. I will not be the same person at all. No, I won't be the same person. No one just means like that. If I, I, if I don't have Down syndrome, I'm just not to myself. <laughs>